What's up, everybody? It's your boy Otto coming to you live and direct from the grotto. I went digging in some basements at an LCS, and man, this didn't disappoint. But as always, uh, welcome to Three Men in the Basement. I'm your host, Otto. Remember to comment, share, like all our videos, please. Sub up. We need you guys to sub up, man. We did a great job this year, and I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. We had a goal of a thousand subs for the year, and we hit it by over. 25%. So I'm very happy and I want to extend that to you guys by saying thank you very much. I truly appreciate you guys commenting, sharing, and liking all our videos. Um, as always, the three men in the basement is myself, David McCabe, and Roger Lebeck. Spine ticks are our friends. Make sure you sub up, all right? And also, these are all friends of the channel. Please, Erod, the New York Warriors, Suppressible Defects, Lords of the Long Box. Um, you know, there's so many other channels out there, and they're all right here. The Green O, Art, the Silk Screener to the Stars, the Geeky Swag Shop. We are sponsored by Rocket Comics. Rocket Comics is your one-stop shop for all pressing uh, pressing needs. Uh, get 20% off your, your first initial uh, pressing, and then 10% after that after you use the code 3MIB, okay? If you go back and look at my videos, I've gotten huge bumps from many, many of my books from Rocket Comics. Um, so, of course, the team at Rocket Comics, reach out to them on Instagram. Submit your books, get them graded. They're worth money. You got equity, get the best out of them. So we went digging in a basement of the LCS and it's the best. It is the best. It's dirty. It's dusty. I had a headlamp on. I'm looking for stuff. I'm finding things, toys, just too much stuff. It's too much stuff to find. So, um, but I did find some really, really good stuff. I went with books to trade. So I brought equity out of pocket, out of pocket. I spent $150, and I traded my Marvel team-up, 141, 9.6, I believe, which I won in a raffle for $20. Uh, had it pressed, so I was in that book for about $80. And I brought an X-Men 129 and 9.0, which I really thought the owner of the LCS would be interested in, but um, he told me that at a 9.0, he'd rather have it raw. But he was interested in the Spider-Man book, so I had equity. Okay, Now, I've been buying a couple statues. Not big statues, not the prime one or the big ones. The ones that fit the diamond selects, um, the figures and stuff like that because it fits in the grotto a little bit better. I'm becoming overloaded between pops and Legos and slab stands. It's, it's too much. It's too much. But what are you going to do? It's fun and you like it. So um, last time I bought a juggernaut statue and you can find that on my Instagram page. On Instagram, I'm Everett underscore Otto. Please uh, give me a follow. And... Uh, so we were down there. It was myself, Roger Levesque, and Uncle Frank. Check out Uncle Frank on Instagram, and also check out Roger Levesque on Instagram. Also give them guys a follow. So I pulled up some stuff. We were digging for like two and a half hours. We're moving books that haven't been moved. Dust is flying everywhere. We're upstairs, downstairs. Frank's pulling books. Roger's pulling books. Modern stuff. Things are all over the place. And then finally, after about two and a half hours, it was time to go. So I went up to the owner, and I said, let's make a deal. He said, okay. He's interested in the uh, in the Spider-Man book. I said, okay, here's a stack that I'm interested in. What can we do? And I'm going to show you. Four coverless X-Men comics. Yeah, baby. Four coverless X-Men. Below number 12. Beautiful books. Beautiful books. The front pages are absolutely fantastic. Steve Ditko, Jack Kirby. I'll show it to you. And I'm going to go in order. Now... They're not worth a lot, you guys, but it's okay because you know what? This is artwork, and if you don't read, if you like, if you read the omnibuses, and that's the only time you're going to see the interior art, because if you slab a book, that's fine. I've got tons of slab books that I've never read, but you never see the second page. This, the first page is like as important as a title page. And look at this. This is X Men number three. Beware of the blob. I don't care if it's stained. I don't care that it's ripped. It's got the old comic book smell. I read it. I've read the story a hundred times as a kid. Uh, beware of the blob, and you would never see this in a slab. Look at the way Kirby did um, Iceman. He looks like a snow cone. All right, so number three. Well, this is really neat, too. This is very linear. Then I got number seven, Return of the Blob, so we can see it. Now, look at this. Look how much time Jack put into this. The Circle, the X-Men as Graduates, Magneto, Blob on the cover. Classic Silver Age greatness right here. Jack Kirby, Art Smack, Stan Lee. Then, number... Oh, I went out of order. I apologize. Then, number seven. Tr uh, or this six. I don't know. Trapped, Return of the Evil Mutants. Beautiful cover right here. 
Look at Cyclops. Look at Cyclops. And you can see the inkers was different. This wasn't Chris Stone. This was uh, Paul Reidman. So you can definitely see the difference in the inking jobs in these two books. Okay. Then there was another one. The Triumph of Magneto. This is the first appearance of The Stranger, X-Men 11. Now, I have been known to send my Coverlix comics to CGC. Um, I don't think I'm going to send any of these uh, because there is lots of wear and tear on it. But, um, you know, this was inked by Chick Stone. So you've got lots of different inkers coming in and doing this stuff. Yeah. All right. Four Coverlix copies. Then, books that I'll always pick up because it's the first appearance of uh, Phantom X on the cover. Two beautiful books sitting there, raw. I don't. I apologize. I don't have these in books right now, but I always will pick these up because um, the first cover of a character that's really really cool, and it's an X Men book. Um, Midnight Suns, Spirit of Vengeance, Part Two Six. Now I have one and two. If you watch one of my older videos, okay. I'll save these for last. All right. Then. Um, as we were as we were like wrapping up, I found some more X-Men books. And I'll buy these books seven ways from Sunday. X-Men 268. Beautiful Jim Lee cover. First time. I think Wolverine Captain America. That's I forgot what that one was, but yep. Beautiful book. Uh it's got some wear and tear up in the corner, as you can see. But again, just another book that I like to have. I'll compare it to the other one. Bishop, one of my favorite X-Men's. I named my dog after Bishop. I've got like seven of these. I'm going to send them all in and see which ones I can get as a 9-8 because I don't have this in a 9-8. And uh, this book is slowly creeping up in price at a 9-8. Uh, I love it. J, uh, Jim, uh, J. Lee cover, I believe. First appearance of Bishop, one of my favorite characters. And I named my dog after him who passed away many years ago. But anyway, that's how much I love Bishop as a character. All right. These two books I will buy all day long. Uh, actually, this is the one of them. This is X-Men 212, Sabretooth Wolverine. X-Men 222. A G.I. Joe book. <laughs> I was after the first appearance of Sergeant Slaughter, which is 49. And of course, as I'm looking through it, 47, 48, 50, 51. So somebody obviously knew Sergeant Slaughter's first appearance. G.I. Joe right here. Story of Hardmaster. Book slowly creeping up in price. I mean, not a $100 book by any means, but it's gone from a $2 book to a $10 book. Which we get up on nose. Then I found this. And I did say Yahtzee because this book has been creeping up in price. I think this is my fourth one. I don't own it in a 9.8. I'm going to take a look at them all today as I'm chopping up these videos and seeing which ones would be slab worthy. This one's got a little tick right there, maybe two. But um, a wall book that you'd find. $30, $40 wall book right there. First appearance of Mr. Sinister, who's going to make his appearance at some point. He's got to. They're running out of mutants to show. Then he has a box, a long box full of the Wolverine miniseries. And we've been buying them and we've been grading them. Now Frank, uh, not Frank Miller, Chris Claremont and Klaus Janssen are doing a double signing at CGC. So I wanted to actually get these books because I bought these books off the rack you know, if you watch Wolverine 2, the story of him and the bear actually comes from this story. But in this book, the bear doesn't bode well. But anyway, so I picked up a whole set of the Wolverine miniseries. One, two, three, and four. And they are minty, high grades. I'm never going to say anything's a 9-6, but I, you know nine six plus candidates all four of those and then this just happened to be sitting in there spider woman number one nice looking copy all right then i said let's take a look at the statue the statue's out of the box i didn't want to have it in this area i'm clumsy you guys know that um but here's the box it's the cable i'm a huge fan of cable this is the uh, Diamond Select Toys. Um, this is the uh, Premier Collection. Diamond Select. Uh, awesome. Limited to 3,000. I've got it out of the box. The detail is just absolutely amazing. You know, De uh, Deadpool 2 is probably one of my favorite 
um, X Men movies behind X Men Two, probably one of my favorite superhero movies. So I've got this now. The problem is, is I'm out of my mind, and I don't have first cable in a nine six. I don't have it in a nine eight, and I would like to have it in a nine eight to pa pa pair it up with this. I have it in a nine four, so I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna look for it. Um, So going, yeah, I'm sorry, my computer turned off. But anyway, so yeah, so I got this. It's so dope. The gun is massive. It's sculpted so well. It's solid. Um, I think I've got 180 out of 300. But look, I didn't realize it's part of the three-piece set. Domino, Deadpool. Now I've got to get all those. My first Deadpool is a 9.6. I don't have a graded first Domino, so I think I'm going to go after that because Domino is just fantastic, especially when she's applying. And they go into the luck is not a superpower. And then she's like, all right, you're hired. And she goes, oh, I guess I'm just lucky. And then he started swearing. So I picked all this up. So he said to me, well, I'll trade you that book, that X-Men, that uh, Marvel team up. And uh, it's going to be 150 bucks. But my book and $150 for all these. And this. Let's just say it was a good day for Otto. Yes. Okay, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you go back deep into our videos, you'll probably figure out which store we went to. I don't want to blow up the honey hole. Um, and for all the people in the Northeast, if you ever hear that we're doing a comic crawl, we've done two of them. Uh, I think maybe. Yeah, we've done two of them so far. They've been a lot of, they've been really fantastic. 2021 is going to be a great year for us. We're going to hold another Three Men in a Basement comic swap. We're going to do another comic crawl. We've got lots of things. We've rebranded the channel. We're working really, really hard to get better. So you guys enjoy us, right? So you guys enjoy your channel. Enjoy the channel. Enjoy our content and spend some time with us. And I appreciate every person that comments in all our videos and shares our videos. Um, always reach out to me if you want to talk about something. I got an idea. I'm always down for the idea. Yes. If you have any ideas, put it in the comments. Maybe it's a great idea for a video. That being said, I've been talking too much. This was Otto digging in a basement at LCS. We are three men in a basement. Dave in a cave. Roger Levesque. I am Everett Otto. I appreciate you watching. We are out. Peace.